One important aspect to maintenance is regular inspection, particularly of the caulking around the windows, on the roof edge, and the roof protrusions. It's important that you inspect this at least twice a year to be sure that none of the caulked seams have pulled loose and that none of the seams are missing caulk or have gaps. If you do find gaps, loose caulking, or missing areas, uh, it's important that you replace the caulk by removing the original and putting new caulk in its place as soon as possible to prevent roof leaks or other problems. Another important maintenance item is to check the condition of your tires regularly. It's a good idea to look inside and out for any cuts or other damage. Also to inspect the tread for adequate remaining tread depth. It's also important that you check the pressure of your tires and inflate the 50 PSI. Uh, check it often because pressure can change according to outside conditions. Lug nuts should be torqued to 90 foot-pounds of pressure and checked at least once during each trip. What we have here is the hydraulic system and the uh, components of the hydraulic system are basically uh, the large black device which is the hydraulic pump motor. On top of that sits the solenoid. This is the pump itself. Then you have the manual backup. And lastly we have the reserve. I'm pointing this out because uh, even though this is a maintenance free system you may have to fill your uh, reserve system your uh, hydraulic reserve system uh, from time to time as it may leak out or temperature conditions may cause it to shrink or expand. The way you fill your reserve is there's a filler cap on the end of the hydraulic reserve tank. When you take this off you'll be able to look down inside the tank be able to fill the tank through that hole. One thing to remember is you don't fill this tank when the trailer is in the up position because if you do it will overflow and uh, you'll have hydraulic oil everywhere. You'll want to have the trailer in the lowered position and you'll still be able to get to this reserve. You can fill the tank near full with the trailer in the lowered position and then when you raise the trailer most of the hydraulic oil from the reserve tank will be pumped into the system.